Today is an extraordinary day. I've decided to become a minimalist. I have watched YouTube videos about minimalism and I feel inspired. I'm going to get rid of everything. Or maybe not. This is a Britney Spears chewing gum that I bought on eBay. I can't let go. And this is a bag that I bought five years ago and I have never worn it. Now it will be different. I have the perfect dress for this bag. I will leave it. I can't let go. Minimalism isn't about throwing away stuff. Minimalism is a process. Minimalism is a mindset where you are learning what is essential to you. It's about acknowledging stories that you are telling yourself about items. Minimalism teaches us how to let go easily. Minimalism teaches detachment from materialistic possessions. Behind every item stands the energy and the story that we are believing in. That's why sometimes we can get into a fight with others. I can't imagine how many fights were caused by breaking the favorite glass or the historical vase. We are so attached to the money that was spent or stories that were made around items that we can even go into a fight with our beloved person. Minimalism teaches us to let go easily. It's my favorite glass, it was the historical vase, so what? It's the only item it's only item if you have something that has meaning to you and you want to be more minimalistic you don't have to get rid of it immediately leave one thing two things that remind you of something or someone yet don't gather a hundred items that bring to you the memory of the same person or experience i know it's harsh but a million things at a home that you that your loved ones touched would bring them to life. Letting go is something that you won't learn from American culture, which is the opposite of minimalism. Go big or go home, gather stuff, buy more, buy five, get ten products that you won't ever ever use. We are buying without thinking. We are compulsively buying to shut our emotions, sometimes to spend our time. Can you imagine that you are giving your precious time away to marketers? You are giving your attachment and emotions to stuff. Walking in the city center became a form of entertainment. Unfortunately, walking in the city center distracts our minds. They are being bombarded by all the big red labels that inform us about the sale. You are not giving your minds a space to flourish. When we have a cluttered home, we also have cluttered minds. I think that some people might be scared of the time that they will get while resigning from walking in the city centers. What should I do now with a whole Sunday? Perhaps I will reconnect with myself. It would be a really good idea. Perhaps I will learn new skills for fun or go for a dancing classes that I wanted to, I wanted to do it for a long time. Ah, no. I'm going shopping. You aren't only giving away your money, you are giving away your time. There is no win-win. You are losing your life. When you can let go of focusing your mind on collecting trash that you won't ever use, you are living. You are starting to live. If somebody is focused on pursuing new trends, in my opinion, it must be a constant feeling of not having enough. Whenever you will enter, um, into, you know, whenever you will go to a shop, there's always something Thing more to buy, perhaps things that you bought today and you thought that they are new, uh, already have an upgrade, already somebody is working to upgrade this stuff. Growing up I had to have new shoes, new cosmetics and new Michael Kors bags. It was hard to keep up, yet I needed all this stuff uh, to feel more confident. A few months ago, I went to a huge economic conference without makeup, without fancy shoes or a bag. Before becoming a minimalist, I would ever, I wouldn't ever ever do this. I went to a workshop woman in leadership, and after uh, the workshop, I went to talk with the prelegents, pre with the women that were speaking during this workshop, and they were smiling and they wanted to answer each of my questions. They wanted to help me, and it turns out that if you are in the right environment, nobody cares about your looks. What is essential is what you say and what are your intentions and what kind of person you are. Clothes and uh, ideal body impresses a specific type of people 
and decide which group you want to impress. You are enough and you have enough. You are enough. You should learn how to let go of not only things that you already have, but the things that marketers tell that you need. Having a minimalistic perspective is crucial in terms of climate change. Companies are producing more and more. They are asking themselves a questions. What kind of needs do people have and they don't know about them yet? How can I make a profit on it? It's nothing wrong to make huge profit but the problem is that we created so much trash on this earth that till now we don't have a place to collect them. Then some mysterious burns of trash are happening in Poland and I'm sure in other countries as well. We should decrease our consumer needs because none of the marketers will. I'm still on a journey to the clutter to let it go but I don't want to just throw away things because we should think about um, what happens with those things later? It's not like you're throwing these things and they're like disappearing from the planet. They're still with us, they're still here. Selling or just giving clothes to those in need might be a good option. I know that the minimalist perspective would destroy most businesses. These days bra brands without good storytelling simply don't exist. We love stories, there's nothing wrong with it. I love stories. Yet a lot of stories are made up or are created only to attract you or me or consumers. The best example is greenwashing. What is greenwashing? Behavior or activities that make people believe that a company is doing more to protect the environment than it is. Here we have the example of color greenwashing. Coca-Cola created a green line of products and named the bubble drink Coca-Cola Life. They tried to look more eco-friendly through image because these days having a sustainable company is a real must and it's supposed to be a real, not fake standard. The truth is that most companies don't give a single or two dams about the earth. Minimalism is one of the ways to help the planet. How to recognize if you should keep or buy a new item? I have some great question for you. It's from the Netflix show Get Smart With Money. Ask yourself these questions. Do I want it? Do I need it? Do I love it? Should I keep it? If the answer to any of this question is no, then let go. I would also recommend you buy long-lasting items made of eco materials, not the products that will have a, that will have that you will have to replace faster than our money will be delivered to the company account. In my opinion, producing low-quality products should be banned. We have one planet to breathe. We have only one planet. My special recipe for a happy life is to feel enough within, let go easily, and be minimalistic okay guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share this video if you find this valuable bye